What is up, YouTube? Wicked Knives here, and I am going to show you how to put clickable links inside your YouTube banner. This is actually really easy to do, and there's a free site called imagemapping.com that I'm going to put a link in the description of that. That's the site you use to do the image mapping to put the links behind the logos and stuff on your channel. I'm going to go ahead and give you a little walkthrough on how to do that. As you can see, I got the Twitter logo and the Facebook logo on the top of my page. And if I click on the Facebook logo, it'll go directly to my Facebook page. Um, this is really simple to do, and I'm going to go ahead and give you a little walkthrough on what exactly you need to do in order to do this. All right, the first thing that you're going to want to do is go to imagemaps.com. This is the free site. Again, I'm going to put the link in the description to this site. But when, once you're on here, you want to select Browse, and you want to select the image that you're going to be doing the image mapping on. Once you selected it, right below it, it'll say Start Mapping Your Image. Select that. And it should pop up a little area where it has like a little 10 second countdown right here while it loads your image. As soon as this is done counting down, it'll say click here to go to the next area or something. Let's see, continue to next step, just select that. And it'll bring you to the mapping page right here where your image is that you're going to be mapping. What you want to do is go over here to the right side. They got two options, rectangle and custom shape. I'm going to go ahead and select rectangle because it's a little bit easier to use and this little clear box area will pop up this is the mapping area you can make it as big or small as you want depending on the logo or the area you want them to click but as you can see I'm gonna highlight over the Facebook area that way if they click on my Facebook logo it will actually send them straight to my Facebook page once you have it in the area that you want them to click right here it'll say link for this map what you want to do is put the URL to your Facebook or Twitter or whatever site you want them to go to from there you just select save now you can put as many of these mappings as you want once you have that one in there all you got to do is push rectangle again or custom and you can actually start adding more it's that easy but once you have all the mapping done that you want what you want to do is come over here to the right side it'll say get your code select that and once that page loads up what you want to do is up here at the top you gotta to select HTML code once you select that all these codes letters numbers all that stuff is gonna pop up you need to highlight every single bit of this and either copy it or cut it it doesn't matter and from there you're gonna input this on your YouTube settings I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that right now Alright, now that you got all the image mapping done and you got that code copied from that website, what you want to do is go to your main YouTube channel page and at the top select channel settings. And the first thing you need to do in these settings is on the left side under background, you need to select add a background and select the image that you did the mapping on. After you got that loaded up, all you need to do is go to this bottom box right here, right above where it says upload watch page channel icon and paste in that code that you copied from that website. And that is it. All you got to do is select done editing and it is that simple. From there, you can go test it out, select the links that you added the mapping on, and it should go to the websites that you put in. It is that simple. But I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. You can give me a push on the like button if this helps you out any, and thanks for watching.